put the chickens, as we're moving them around the yard, we put them around some of these trees and didn't realize they would be digging in the softer soil so much. So now we need a little more soil in here. So I'm taking some mulch, some, some good composted mulch and putting that in there to fill it up. At the same time, I'm putting in some of the fruit tree spikes. I bought a whole bunch of them and the spikes kind of fell apart, but it's still fertilizer. So we're going to put that in there too. Ran out of fertilizer, so now I need to get some more. Yeah, these were not stored in a dry enough place. So now they're powder and a little bit of clumps. Same compounds are in there, except maybe if some of them might have broken down a little in all of this. These are little caps. I guess you would put them on top to sort of hammer them in the ground. I need two more of these. I know the spikes are supposed to be buried. Hopefully being buried under the mulch will be good enough. I can't really drive them in the ground very well, so we're just gonna do them this way and hope for the best. While I'm doing my trees, there's a little bit of excitement over here. This is a unmarked police vehicle. You can, you can kind of see that uh, spotlight he's got on his car. We've seen state troopers and police going up and down the street all day, so we figured something's going on. Um, so they're just checking driveways or any kind of inlets where somebody could pull off the road. There was, uh, I guess, uh, someone pulled over by the police, ended up attacking the police officer who is now in the hospital. So they're checking to see every little place where this person may have ditched their car. They said there might be bullet holes in the door. So it sounds pretty serious. Good for the trees and it looks great. <laughs> After we get all these Japanese beetles out of the yard, Hardly any wind today, so it's a good day to burn up my wood scraps. I've got a ton of them upstairs I need to get. I just ran to get some lumber. I want to thank Constantine for his uh, telling me about this bed extension for the truck. It cost me uh, less than $50 on sale at uh, Harbor Freight. It's normally $59. And that really helps me get a larger load of lumber. While I'm out getting lumber, Cindy texted me and let me know that one of the chickens is on its last breaths on its deathbed. So I need to go and put it out of its misery and bury it. Uh, we don't have a good wood chip pile right now to put the chicken into. So we'll have to bury it in the ground. We're not gonna process a chicken that we don't know why it's dying. You know, we don't know if it's old age or if it's sick or what, so we're not gonna save the meat. And you're getting a shovel. So we'll just bury her in the garden bed that we haven't started using yet and have some fertilizer benefit from that later on. So I got my hole dug and I went in and this chicken is definitely in rough shape. But I want to give her some medicine and see if we can bring her back. She does seem to have a little more strength than I was expecting. Let's see if we can get her to drink some water with some medicine in it. There we go. We'll get her to do that a few times. Every now and then I'm spending an evening up here working on my, my siding in what we're calling the loft. I moved a couple of my signs and I've uh, decided to stain around this instead of the uh, kind of wood burning 
effect that I was doing around the edges. I think the stain looks a whole lot better. I need to make my letters a little more clear. So I think I'm gonna get out the wood burner again and just go around them, get, do a little shadowing or something to, to bring them out more. And then tonight I've been working my way across this wall with some new siding. So soon I'll be at the location where I can put in this uh, Mr. Cool unit. So I look forward to doing that. I think I'm gonna just build a little platform on the roof behind this wall to set the outside unit. So it'll just be completely out of the way. It won't be in the way downstairs when I'm trying to bring in the tractor. I did check on the chicken tonight and she's still hanging in there. We'll take another look at her. She'll make it through the night, I'm pretty sure. And, and we'll uh, check on her again in the morning. Uh, I would rather bring her back to health than just put her down. She doesn't look like she's suffering badly. I hope not. We've had a lot of sickness around. The danger cat has been sick. She was sick on a previous video not long ago. And then she was sick again the past couple of weeks. And she's coughing and coughing really bad. We have given her some medicine and she seems to have completely recuperated, which is great. But we did have to put that chicken down this morning. I tried to give it some medicine. This morning it seemed just a little bit stronger. But I noticed some ants were getting on it. So I went and got some diatomaceous earth and put that on, on her feathers. And as I was handling her, I started realizing she's got really laborious uh, breathing. And, and uh, then I brought her some water. She wasn't drinking water. She took one sip and wouldn't drink anymore. So we went ahead and put her down and buried her. So that's a sad day. But I did want to mention that the cat recuperated really well. So we're excited about that. If you, I did actually try to get a video of the cat coughing once because it was a full body cough that was just really rough and she's totally good now. The barn is looking better. I'm getting in my third shelf today. So I'm about to put all the decking on there. Got two good shelves and a third one about to finish. This wood, and while I'm doing projects near the barn or at the barn, we really want to be able to drive all the way through with the tractor. But until we get these projects done, I want to keep my wood out of the sun. It works really bad when it sits in the sun. These beams out here, they do, they've sat out there for a while and they're doing okay. They're staying straight. But these boards, they have so much moisture in them, they'll bow really bad just being out there for a little bit. After I get on this decking, I'm gonna set up these shelves and try to organize some things some more. And maybe the inside of the workshop container, bring some things out here to start cleaning up that container and making it more nice and neat inside there. We got the she shed looking pretty good. We're starting to get this breezeway looking good. And then hopefully we can get that last container looking organized. I'm probably not gonna get much of this done for this video. I don't, I think it'll probably be the next video where I'll be finishing this up. But I'm starting to work on installing the Mr. Cool air conditioning unit here. That's, uh, th these are different parts for it. There's the inside unit the line set which goes between the inside and the outside and then some bags of parts and then the outside units downstairs the first thing you do is you put your template on the wall and i wanted to do this before i get this wall completely finished with siding or paneling so i put my template on the wall i marked where this uh hole cutout is going to go and i've drilled my hole and then I took my uh, paneling off the wall so that I could go ahead and get to the outside and start drilling a hole. It tells you to drill a, a 3.54 inch hole, <laughs> 90 millimeters. So I'm not gonna order a special uh, hole saw for doing that. That's three and a half inches plus a tiny fraction. 
and I've got a three inch hole saw. I don't even want to go buy a three and a half inch hole saw. I've already done this one, but I just thought I'd show how I made it the right size. So you see this, this is not the same as that hole. And so here I've already drilled my three inch hole and I'm about to make that hole wider. So I drew my circle around my hole to show me how large I want that hole to be. And here's, here's how I do it. You need a hole saw that's really nice and sharp. It'll cut really well. You don't want an old dull one. But I'm gonna cut at an angle from the hole I've already cut and hit that line. And then I'm gonna change my angle, go down, go sideways, go every which way. So I'm gonna try to show you here. So you're just working, you're gonna work your way around that circle doing, doing that. I'm gonna finish cutting that one and then I'm gonna go around and, and do it on every side. Well, my battery's dead. I'm gonna have to go get another battery. So now that's a three and a half inch hole, just a hair bigger on this dimension. Right there, three and a half. Three and a half. So that can save some money on hole saws. You can tend to drill at least a half an inch wider on those large hole saws. Okay, my panel's back on. There we go. Okay, I jumped up here and put some stain on the wall. So here's my hole that I was drilling. And I decided I'm gonna stain an area big enough to set that unit out here. I'm gonna make a little platform for it to sit on. On the areas where I didn't stain all the way up, I, I did stain high enough to get my flashing on there. So now my flashing is installed. I might risk it and not do this area. I don't know. When I start to build this platform, then I'll know for sure whether or not that's going to be a problem. At this point, I can go ahead and install my inside unit, but I got to put some siding in here. I don't have enough on there to get the whole thing mounted yet. So put a few more boards up. I hate doing these outlets.